jellyfish, a very primitive animal. They're in the same classification as the corals. Jellyfish have been around for millions of years and they're a nemesis to anyone that wants to go swimming when they're in the water. Jellyfish sting, but they're also beautiful. They're just tissue, tissue that floats and pulsates and is found in all areas of the ocean. We're going to be drawing, well, painting the sea nettle today, which is a really simple version of a jellyfish with its long tentacles and its pulsating bill. For this, we're using pastels and pastel paper. For the pastels, you can use a variety of colors, but I'll be showing you the simple ones that we're going to use. So get your charcoal, if you want to use charcoal, your pastels, your chalk, your construction paper or your pastel paper, and let's draw the sea nettle. I'm using pastel paper. You can use construction paper. I have these different color of pastels, different boxes of them. Pastels are a lot softer than your colored chalk, but you can also use colored chalk. I also like to keep a wet rag nearby while I work. When we first sketch it out, and we're going to do the sea nettle as it's swimming on an angle. I'm going to use a light colored chalk and I'm going to put in just very slightly a dome. I'll make it a little darker now. So that is the top of the dome. And then real lightly just put in the indication of the bottom of the bell. To make the colors on that, I'm going to use this, it's like a light pink. I'm going to put a little bit of that color down. Then I'm going to put in a little bit of orange. This is all before I blend, because with pastel you blend. A little bit of yellow, more down here on the bottom. And a little bit of brown. This is actually a darker brown. After I've laid my colors down, well here's my darker brown that I wanted. A little bit of a darker brown. So I've laid my colors down. Using my fingers, I'm blending. And this is, because jellyfish are made of jelly, it's actually a substance called mesoglea, and it's translucent. It allows some light to go through it. Chalk pastels lends itself very well when you do an art project of jellyfish. So I'm using my fingers and blending it down. You can see that a little bit on the bottom. Now the center of the jellyfish, of the sea nettle, has something called oral arms. They come up in the center of the dome. I'm going to use this light color again and I'm going to kind of twirl them. They're real lacy. There's four of them. A little bit thicker here and I am twirling them and they go, if it's in the water, it's flowing that way. That's three. Just keep moving it around. They're very lacy, very soft. <laughs> very stinging. They have something called nematocysts, which are these barbs that can really hurt you. Now I'm going to blend it a little bit up here at the top. And with each one, just blend it just a few different places. We're going to come back and do a little more definition on them a little later. And we want to show them flowing. Okay? Now let's go back up here to the dome. The dome itself has these lines in it. I'm going to use the orange, make a little bit on the outside, and then I'm going to come in with my dark brown, and I'm going to put in these different lines that come down. They're staggered, they're different lengths, and at the bottom, it's almost like a scallop. See that? Like a scallop. And I'm going to soften them just a little bit. A little bit of that orange on the outside. Soften it just a little bit. And then we want to use some, I'm sorry, the yellow and put a little more yellow in for some highlight. And you can blend that. So we got this little bit. We're going to come back with some bigger highlights later. So now we have our dome. For the Oral arms, I want to take my orange and just every so lightly in different places make a little bit of a curly cue. This is the, the wavy stuff on these oral arms is attached to these long fibers and that's what I'm showing here with the orange. 
and then you can just blend those just a little and that shows where the curliness of them is we can come in and make this a little darker up here again shade it in and we've got the oral, oral arms now with our brown you could also use a red we're going to put the outside tentacles the outside tentacles they are not curly like that and they just flow and they are longer than the oral arms and they flow I'll put one more and you can just shade them a little bit at the top but for the most part we want them light for the last thing on our sea nettle we take our white and we're putting in some highlights because it is translucent the light goes through it just a little bit not completely it's not transparent but translucent outline it just a little bit at the top put a little bit down here see if we need to add anything more to our maybe a little orange on these outside tentacles all of these things can sting you it's really uncomfortable and the last thing some of them have using your brown just a little bit of it's almost like fringe on the outside and here we have our sea nettle jellyfish it stings but as you just watch them float through the water they're actually quite beautiful hope you enjoyed it